Fencing is one of the oldest sports, but in the modern version, points are scored electronically, and there have been major improvements to the safety gear. My name is Jennifer Grant, and I am a member of the Cal Poly fencing team. <laughs> so there's three weapons. There's saber, epee, and foil. Uh, I like doing foil. It's why I have this funny <laughs> vest on, but um, the three differences is that there's just different target areas and where you can score points, and there's just different rules of how you can score the different points in fencing. And so you choose the weapon based off of the rules you like to fence to the most. <laughs> First weapon we have is uh, foil. This is primarily a practice weapon. It has uh, usually one of the more flexible blades. The way to score with this is to hit with the point. There's actually a little spring in here that you have to be able to press when you hit, uh, hit the person. Our next weapon is called an epee. This has a slightly stiffer and uh, thicker blade, and it's also a tip, or tip weapon, so you have to hit by pressing a spring. This one uh, actually requires slightly more pressure to score, and it's supposed to be what would be the equivalent of uh, breaking skin uh, in real life. This was what people use, or trained with for dueling. And the third weapon we have is called a saber. Uh, this one is developed from cavalry, so the target area is from the waist up. This includes head um, and arms. So what uh, fencers do uh, compete in saber, they have to wear metal vests that start from the waist and cover uh, the arms, and then their mask is specially made to connect to their vest, so that would also uh, score a point. And with this weapon, uh, the whole blade is electrified, so you can score by, uh, just by touching any part of it. It definitely requires a lot of speed, and you have to be a quick thinker, and you know sometimes you have to just rely on instincts that you've been training for a long time. I've I found that just watching fencing, I was not able to really follow what was going on until I'd been fencing for you know one to two years, and so it's a very quick sport. <laughs> It's hard to think about too many moves. Also, law offenses will say if you think too much, you'll not score any points as well. So sometimes you're like, how did I score that point? I don't even know what happened, and one of the green lights went on. So <laughs> I really do love this sport. It's I've never done any sport like this, and I hope to always Fence, you know, even my coach, a lot of coaches will say fencing is a lifetime sport. There's people of all ages in it, and a lot of them stick around for a long time. So I definitely love this sport, and I hope I'm one of those old ladies who fence someday. Scoring with the foil is limited to just the torso, but with the epee, the entire body is fair game, which can be tough to defend. En garde.